ันหล่อคนนี้ยแปะตรงนี้อืมเป็นเป็นตุ๊บตายนี่ใช่ไหมเอาปั๊บปั๊บปั๊บอ e v e r y o n e welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing the guns of Cartagena, um, and we're going to be starting at uh, Bar Cartina in the mountain range of Cabo Tinoso. Never done this ride before. It's something I've been wanting to do for about a year now. I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, should we get on with it? Here we go. I'm sure we will see some beautiful views on the way up. I'm not sure what the um, ascent is, but uh, I will put That information below here now um, once I've done the ride. It's a little bit misty this morning, just hazy, not misty, a little bit hazy. It's quite warm today. At the moment it's 18 degrees. I think we're going to go up to about 23, 24 today. Uh, the time is 10.15 and on the left is the old custom house and that would have been um, you know, when the goods come in by sea I would have presumed they would have had to go to the custom house and pay all the relevant taxes this isn't one of my longest routes I believe it's only about 8 kilometers to the top um, but it's mostly up here all the way so i look forward to coming back down again i'm going to try cycling to the very very top above where the guns are there's another uh some more buildings up there The road up here is quite narrow, it is two way and as you can probably tell it's quite bumpy and the higher you go the more potholes there are. It's not a bad drive up here with the car, you can see there that one of the potholes. The views are stunning. As I've said I'm not the fittest person in the world. There's no way I could have done this on a non-e-bike. Non Who's uh, to say I might not even do it on an e-bike yet? Uh, quite a way to go. I'm 1.7 kilometres so far. Oh, I don't know if you can tell. I'm breathing quite heavily. It's all about being in the right gear, really, and not straining yourself. I've got five levels of assistance on this bike and I'm on three at the moment uh, and I've got eight gears I'm in second gear uh, not too bad I'll just show you those views I will get the drone up a little bit later on you can see the sea over there in the distance Pretty saying, oh, Steve, you're not doing your usual speeds. I'm doing between 11 and 12 kilometers an hour at the moment. Not too bad. The views are lovely. And it's the sort of thing, when you do drive up here, you can't look around at the views, really, because otherwise you'll possibly hit another car coming towards you or go over the side or hit a great pothole and Give yourself a puncher. Right, then I peel more there. I'm now in first gear. If you do come up here by car and you park at the car park at the very top, it's very busy 
during the weekends and uh, and also August time. But uh, also once you do park up, it's still a bit of a walk, not too bad. But to get to the guns right at the end, that's quite a brisk walk. You just make sure you take plenty of water because if you do it in the heat of the day, there's no shade at all. Uh, I know I've done that myself a couple of years ago. Oh, I thought I was going to die walking back. But uh, I got back to the big guns from the small guns right down the end and found a little bit of shade and I had to sit there for about half an hour to get my breath back. And Although well, I did have a bit of a cold at the time, I must admit it was a bit chesty. It's well before Covid. Uh, it was just a, a common cold. It's probably one of the hardest climbs I've done so far. Uh, really tested my ability, really. Look at that over there. Wow, big drop. Loads of boats waiting to go in the port or waiting to leave. Having, probably having a rest on their voyages. In first gear now, still on assist free. They're doing 11, oh, I'm losing my breath. Doing 11 kilometers an hour. Well, I'm on assist four now. I'm gonna have a little bit of a breather up here. Lovely views around here. That down there is uh, is the planner and uh, Matheron and Bolnoevo further on. I don't know if you can see that. Lovely views. Well, it's a long way down, but the views are stunning. Look at those views. They are stunning. That road down there is the road I've just come up. So you can see I've climbed quite a bit so far. And the white building over there in the background, I don't know if you can see it, is where I started, I believe. I could be wrong. I don't think I, no, I'm not, because the fort's there as well. You can see the fort and you see Bar Cartina uh, over there in the distance. And then right over there, as I said before, that is the planner, uh, the port of Mafaron and uh, Bolnuevo. Uh, it's, it's not the clearest day. I apologise for that. I'll try and clear it up in post. Hey, what views. I'm going down here a little bit now. Uh, and then I'll be climbing again. Gotta watch my speed. I've never been up to that path. I will do, I might do that on the way back. See how I feel. How long this takes me. I've never been up there. Uh, it's the other side of the mountain. Let's watch my speed. It's a shame it is a bit hazy. But um, at least it's not raining. Ha! Ah. Won't be if it was. As uh, people have said to me recently, cycling uphill can be very hard, but coming back down is the reward. As long as you've got brakes and you don't go too fast and hit any loose gravel, the last thing you want to do. If you lose if you hit some loose gravel and you've got that front brake on, you're off. I know that, because I've done it. The views are just breathtaking. Wow. Someone once told me that the region of Mercia is one of the poorest regions in Spain. But one thing it's not, 
if it is the poorest region in Spain, it really is rich in scenery, uh, view, like this mountain views, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. You got some tracks down there as well. <coughs> if I've got time today, I will try and cycle some of those tracks down there as well. Um, but if I don't, I'll, uh, I will definitely be back to do those tracks as well because they, they, they do like they go to some interesting places. So far, I've done five kilometres. So just over halfway, I believe. That we are enjoying the downward part of this uh, road downhill, but we do start climbing again soon. Another viewpoint a little bit further down. Avoiding all the potholes, slowing down because I don't know this road um, when it comes to cycling. I don't know if the gravel gets really loose. In a car, you don't really notice. But you do notice the potholes, and there are quite a few. Coming up to six kilometers now. Still downhill. Just gone past the gate, whether that was one of the old sentry gates, I don't know. Got another gate here. I think what these gates are used for now, during the winter, it does get icy up here if the snow falls. They close the gates um, for your safety so you can't get up here. All right, starting to climb again now. In a bit of shade, got the trees there, which is most welcome. When the road starts getting a little bit uh, more uneven, now let's try and pick the, the best. Oh! <laughs> nice bit of shade. Temperature now is 19 degrees. up a little bit but don't forget I'm climbing so it might not get to 23 24 up here today bit of a test today as well to see how uh, the battery on the bike coats with these hills today because obviously the more power uh, more assistance you get in the uh, Less kilometers you're going to get out of the bike. I know this is only a short ride so far up here. I've done 6.6 .6 kilometers so far, still got full battery. But I'm only in assist two at the moment. Uh, I'm trying to keep my assist as low as I can to preserve battery. And not only that, it gives me a workout as well at the same time. Well, this is really quite bad along here. I'm going to come over this side. Oh, this is worse than it was last time. A lot worse. So, uh, Cartagena Council, you really need to uh, fill some of these potholes in because they're quite bad. I just put it into assist three. I don't know if you can tell that on the camera. I'm starting to climb and it's steep. I'm gonna put it in, I mean, first gear. It's easy enough. I'm not going to race up here. I'm doing 10 kilometers an hour at the moment. So I'm aware, down by uh, where the cantina is, I will show you pictures and uh, that. I've got some drone footage where Cabo Tidso uh, Turismo is now. Uh, used to be the only army barracks. It's now been turned into a holiday retreat, adventure holidays, and you can take your horses there. 
we do as well. They've got stables, uh, so it's hotel of horses as well. Um, Miguel owns it, he's a lovely guy, very welcoming, and he did say, uh, treat it as if it's your own home. We're here. This is the car park. 7.2 kilometers from the cafeteria. Uh, and that ain't too bad. But now, I've never done it before. I'm gonna try cycling up there. Uh, I've never been up there before either. So I'm gonna try cycling up there and uh, see what the views are like, shall we? I'm gonna walk it through here. Let's walk it through here. And along here. It's a bit dodgy. And the reason I've never been up here before because I've always gone to the big guns and the smaller guns uh, further down. And by the time I get back to the car here, I'm always too knackered. But I always forget to do this for some reason. So I've said to myself a few times, I must go to the bit at the top. Uh, there we are. Well, at least we know there's going to be no cars up here. And there shouldn't be. I'm at, I am now on an assist five. I think that's a bit higher. I'm put back down to four. Cool. That'll shoot drops down there. I'm not going close to the edge. I'm not one for heights. Oh, wow. I'll check how high up I am when I get up here. I'm going to have to be careful coming back down. This white steak will be easier to pick up. Quite a bit of speed as well. So we'll have to be careful. Down by where the Cabo Tinoso is, uh, that used to be the barracks. And uh, the soldiers used to have to march up here to the guns and probably up here. I don't know whether this was about, I've been up here, so we'll find out when we get to the top. I didn't realise how far up it was here. Be honest with you. I wouldn't want to walk it. It's much easier by bike. This is an electric bike. And then that is our next challenge. Oh. I'm going to carry on going straight up. I can go to the left there a little bit. I want to carry on straight up. I want to go right to the top. Let me do some exploring. Whoa, that is a long way down. I really don't like heights. Oh, funny thing now, the views. going up. The guy in there saying something in Spanish. Just say, don't go any further. <laughs> That's up of the fault now. Wow. A 
quick look at these buildings here. They've got the wooden uh, barrier in front of them and they've got all the great, all of the doors, the windows to stop you going in. Unless that's new, I'm not sure. But I know when you go down to the, at the end, the other part, there's no doubt on the doors and that. Having said that, it does look quite new. So perhaps it is something they've recently put in. Right, I'm gonna carry on up to the top. Right. A little steep around here. Sticking as far away from the edge as I can. And then we're at the top. At the top. And down here. Right. Time to do some droning, I believe. Castaitos battery, locally known as the Batteria del Cataitos, lies on the ridge of the Cape above the sea, west of the city of Cartagena, in the province of Mercer in Spain. World War I had resulted in a huge technological advances which rendered the defence of Cartagena obsolete. Cartagena then already was the headquarters and the main military port of the Spanish Navy. So in 1926, the defence plan called for the construction of a new defence system comprising the building of new fortifications around Cartagena giving it full protection against the attack from sea and air. Cabo Tinoso, a cape some 25 kilometers from Cartagena, was among the sites chosen to be used. On the ridge of these cape were three batteries, Atalion, Castiliotos and Joel. Castiliotos battery was built between 1933 and 1936. On the ridge between Atalion and Horel, some 250 metres above sea level. It was an anti-shipping battery armed with two massive Vickers 381mm 45 calibre anti-shipping guns. They had a reach of about 35 kilometres. The only other battery near Cartagena armed with these guns was Tenifas battery to the east. The battery was deliberately built into the top of the ridge to make it invisible from the sea. For the buildings of this battery, the builders used a style of eclectic modernism, decorating them with crenellations and towers like a medieval castle. At the beginning of the Spanish Civil War in 1936, Castiliotos battery was almost operational, only lacking its fire control system. In 1936, it fired one shot against a nationalist squadron and the knowledge of the havoc the guns would wreak was enough of a deterrent to ensure that they were not required to take part in further combat. With the passing of time, the guns became obsolete and the battery was decommissioned in 1994. It was subsequently dismantled and abandoned. The two Vicar guns remained. In 2010-2011, it was somewhat restored. It is still owned by the Ministry of Defence. I'm going to take this path back down. I'm not looking forward to it. Very steep. And it's a big drop to my left as I go down. So um, if you don't see this video, <laughs> you know I fell over the edge. Um, okay, let's get going. Oh. And it's good to know what one's your back break. See, over those rocks there is a sheer drop. Not for the faint hearted. A little bit of a run down here. Yay! there where that rock's missing right in front of me you go over that that's it you're dead 
That's a long way down. You probably can't see it on the camera. I am going to do. Put your camera up. You might be able to see it better. see down there. I'm going to carry on going down. Quite a bit to cover today. A hell of a long way up. As you can probably tell by with the drone footage. Take me time. We're going to make our way to the main guns now, in the car park. Concentration on my face is probably a picture. Didn't realise how far up this was, this... Uh, other building. So, like, you know, just go over those rocks. That's it, that's your lot. The gate down, I'm going to get off the bike again, I think, to get around the gate. That looks a bit dodgy. Quite a few people here today. It's a nice day. It's a Monday. So quite a few people, tourists. You come here on a Saturday or a Sunday, and uh, it's packed. Absolutely rammed. So that's one thing you don't really want to do. I'm here on a Saturday or a Sunday. <clears throat> Unless you like crowds. And you'd probably be very lucky to get parking space. So I'm going to head over there now. To the guns. You'll see a sign in front of it saying no cars. And it does look like no cycles. But it's not. It's no motorbikes. too fast. Some loose gravel down here. I must admit it's a lot easier than a bike. Yes, I can't believe how many people there are here. I suppose it's because it's, uh, it's a nice day and it's not too hot. The old sentry box there on the left. Go. So 
really bad. We've got some divots there, some, uh, you know, where the rain's come down. I don't notice that before along here. Okay, well, that's to the main buildings of the uh, the, the guns of Cartagena. Although Denise ain't with me today, myself and Denise went under the guns when she was over here back in April, which I'm going to put into this video so you can see under the guns. I don't know, I'm not sure whether they've actually um, stopped you going through. I'm just going to look around here. Oh, no, stop. Hopefully no one will hit me bike. I'm only going to be here quick. <clears throat> so I'll do show you this with uh, me and Denise coming through here. So I'm just going to go around here a minute to see, it's very dark, if they've blocked it up. No, they haven't. All right, we're uh, under the uh, guns right now. Denise is with me. We're gonna turn around to the left here. Mind your footing. As you can see, down there, that's where the track would have gone to move all the ammunition. Come around here. And here, I don't know what these tanks would have been for. You've got these tanks here, and uh, and above, if you look, uh, this, this machinery would have been moving the armor or the, 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 the shells for the guns around here. So I, I don't know what these were, some sort of water tanks I would have thought, perhaps, because it does get hot in Spain, perhaps they used to dip them in there to keep them cool. I don't know. We'll come around here and we'll, we'll go in this room here this would have been another storage area but mind your step because there's piping everywhere it's got these pipes you gotta be careful where you're going so we go in this room here so you've just got my mind your step and mind your head This would have been a, another storage area for all the ammunition. Obviously they was expecting to uh, fire a lot of rockets. And what you got to remember, there are two guns above and both guns have got rooms that they're actually identical, but they're, they're, it's a mirror image of one another, but this is the one that gives you easier access to the, all the rooms. Because even you see in front of us, they've got shutters there and in the other one the shutters are down but they've actually people were broke broken in but you still got to try and climb through but look, this one's all open this looks like the door yeah that was probably the original yeah that was probably was the door there yeah yeah there's the door all right so we're, we're going to come under the gun now we're going to come around here and we're going to be under the gun Then you can actually get access to the guns up this ladder, all the way up, and you go inside the gun, up there. That's inside the gun. There's another ladder up there. Denise is going to go up there any minute. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, no, it's a joke. In your Not really. Yeah. So, here, I say just watch your step, Denise, as yeah. you come around. And your head, make sure you don't hit anything. Up there. A lot of this stuff is still greased. I think the ammo would have gone up there as well. That would have been where it would have been yeah. taken up towards the guns. Now we're going to walk through here. Hopefully it's not too wet. I know where we were just now, um, which I didn't film. Walking for outside. This is another tip that same as that. Right. Hopefully.
Denise. Hello, Denise. Yeah, so this is where so they would have been looking out for enemy ships that wall there would have been quite a bit higher at the time I would have thought um, and say there is another lookout area we can go to but it was about a foot deep in water when we tried going out that way and the, and the wall is bigger there um, so we decided not to go there over there if you look all the way over there that's where you can't park your car so uh, yeah it's, um, so I've cheated it today. I've not cycled up here. I actually drove up here because I, I, I'm going to cycle up here. And, and well, this video you're watching is when I've cycled up here. Move through here. Back towards the engine rooms and the storage area for all the ammunition. You do have to mind your head as you're walking through here as well because it's quite low. Must have been short, short, short yeah. soldiers. Yeah, so you've really got to be careful where you're walking because it can be really dodgy. Uh, and you've got this bit of pipe sticking out here. I would have thought they would have used that to actually turn it round. So perhaps it was a manual thing they used to turn the gun around or helped turn it around I don't know what patch it was in on hydraulics but that helped it around so I'm going to come back around here I'm sure I filmed this section here um, so I'm not going to do this bit again but we're going to come through here and actually come through here we we'll turn right here we we'll just turn right we'll be going back out that's where we came in Okay, so then we're going to come back around here, and this is the engine room. As I said, the Stanese, mind your step, yeah. and mind these things, they're sticking up, look. Yeah. I nearly tripped over one just now. Where's my foot? It's just there, look. Oh, there it is, look. It's there. Right, this is the engine room. I'm going to step over without breaking my neck. And that's the engine. So if you, any of you budding engineers out there fancy a project, if you come out to Spain, maybe you come out here to retire, there's a lovely little engine there for you to, to get started. Yeah. Look for it. <coughs> the gears and that. In that. Yeah. Come around here. Big wheel, not a ferris wheel, it's a fly, some sort of flywheel. I come around here, looks like some sort of flywheel down there as well, don't know what that's all about. Uh, so there's more stuff in the in the ground. There's obviously something taken out here, something's been removed. Some, I suppose uh, if you was to take this to the scrap day, they've got a fortune for it, how much metal here, but it's probably getting it out of here was, would be the problem. Uh, I think that's more, it looks like some sort of oil tank up there. Where we'll to keep the oil. Um, if you come around here, there's, I believe, to be a water tank. So, come down here, come start down here and work our way up. There's a water tank there. I presume it's water. Um, there's a ladder up there as well. Oh, they climb up the ladder. Yeah, again, Denise's gonna go up there again in a minute. Like that up there is like to the outside. Is it? It's yeah. a, a door, maybe? Oh no. Oh, that's probably under the guns, yes. It could be. When we go up there, you'll, you'll see that where they're covered in. Um, oh, so yeah. We'll come round here. You caught around this way. <laughs> these be tripping over them all again. All these little bits sticking up. Right. Where's the wheel? There's Denise, he's got a blinder again. Hee <laughs> Round here. And the other side of this engine. I know nothing about engines, don't ask me what this does and what that does. 
I have no idea. I have some ideas on how a car works, but um, I'm not at the ability of stripping the car down and rebuilding it. But then, as you look at the top of this engine, there's an exhaust pipe, I believe. There's an exhaust pipe there. It comes all the way across here, all along there to there, all the way up, out of the building. Uh, to the roof. There you go. See? Fascinating place. Must be. I didn't know it was here until quite recently. I've been to the gun several times. I didn't know you could get in here. Uh, up until about a year ago. Make our way out now. Film it just in case I fall over. You know what I'm like. Around the uh, engine room. This is the way in and out. The knees just don't. Oh. Get your head through first. There's a brick on the inside. Brick. Oh. I made it look easier than the knees did. I must admit. <laughs> I think get me head through first. Escaped. So we're going to go to the top, show the guns, and uh, see if we get on. All right. Oh. Right, so I'm right here, take this right into the gun placements. Unfortunately, these guns have recently been graffitied. Oh, why they do it, I don't know. Oh. Oh. And these are the guns. Not the guns I've never owned. Okay, so I've, um, <coughs> looking around here, some of these buildings have been locked off, but not all of them. I think it's probably the ones that are probably most unsafe, but they've put the corrugated iron up. Or put the iron up. I'm trying to see if I can find a way to get to the lighthouse, I'm not sure. There might be a route down there. See if we can find a path. There's another path there, look going down. So right. So we'll do that, shall we? Never been down this path before. Why well, is the first time? Let's see where it leads, shall we? Oh. Your guess is as good as mine. 
unless you've been here before. here again. I'm going to carry on going down and try. There's a lighthouse down here. I'm going to try getting to the lighthouse. Does it stop here? It stops. Oh no, the path there. Yeah. Let's carry on. Or does it? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. I say duck, I do mean duck. Oh, this is very uh, unstable. Maybe this is the only way along here. I don't know. Oh, I think I'll put my suspension on and I'll carry on a bit further. Hopefully, it might be a bit better down here. At least uh, now I've got a, uh, a fence on my left, so I can't go down, can't go over. But yeah, again, if I could touch it, it's probably really wobbly. Right, it takes me nowhere, by the looks of it. Leads anywhere. It's just a bit. Push it down this bit. There don't seem to be any other way round. Well, I don't know how they get to that lighthouse down there. Oh, wait a minute. It's a tunnel here. It's a tunnel. Where does this tunnel lead? Push the bike through. Pretty much seen up here with a 360 camera, it's not very good in the dark. You know that my display lights up in the dark. The um, the battery display and my display on the bike. Didn't know that. We've been out in the dark before. people come through here. Can't go up again here. Wow, look at that. Whoa. Oh, God. I'm so glad this uh, fence is here. Yeah, it's quite solid. Look at that. Wow. Look, there's another path down there. Whether it's a complete path or not, I don't know. Or whether this joins out, I don't think it does. But there is another path. So I might be able to find my way down there. I might go back and just see where this leads to, shall we? Probably another uh, gun emplacement. No. <clears throat> I'm to push it up here, I think. I might have to push it all the way back up. That hill back there as well. I'm going to leave the 
bike here. Come in. Put the camera up here. Wow. Look at them views. Said there's a, another route down there. It doesn't look like it's a lighthouse. Another gun placement. The looks of it. This would have been another gun emplacement, I would have thought. The lighthouse is further down there, so there must be another way to it. Hopefully we can find that today. If not, I'll have to come back another time. But uh, I'm going to try. I'll just walk back up these stairs a minute. Whoa, I'm so glad I'm at the top here now. Uh, wow, well, I did uh, start filming again from here. Just down there, a minute ago. I'm glad I've got my helmet on because as I stepped up the step behind me, I hit my head in the roof. That would have hurt. So, uh, yeah, not cycle helmets. They ain't always for cycling, you know. Perhaps I should wear one all the time, especially when I'm doing things like this. I'm still intrigued by that road down there. See if I can get down there. But uh, whether that be today or another day, I'm not sure. We will find out, won't we? Right, I'm having to walk the bike back up here. The path is just too dodgy to cycle. As I said, this uh, bike is harder to push up here than it is to cycle. But I can't cycle on this, it's just too narrow and too slippery and too many bushes. the tongue. It's gonna go dark now. Alright, on the other side of the tunnel now. Uh, still pushing it. Can't remember when I get to tarmac again or sort of some sort of stable footing. I think I've got to get right to the top. Not sure, can't remember. Uh, I will see you when I'm at the top. <sighs> gonna have a drink of water. Uh, sorry, I'm in first gear, but assistance set to five. I uh, should be alright now. Ah, uh, bring the assistance down. Oh, thank God we're back on the normal track. Hey, aha, this might be the way down. So, we'll go down here and see where it leads, shall we? Although well, there is a police here thing here. Been here quite a while, I would have thought. We'll take it easy and see where we end up. Not the sort of thing they come and take away again, is it, those tape? I just leave them there. Hopefully I don't enter a crime scene. There are no police vehicles at the top when I come along. I've not seen any police vehicles here at all, or police presence, so I, would, I can only presume that tape's been there for some time, and that someone's come along and just ripped it down, so. Yeah. Right. Yeah, again, I've never been down here before. It's all new to me. Oh, truck breaking up a bit, look. Not bad as there's that one. Perhaps I should have just taken this in the first place. Yeah, this looks like this may lead to the lighthouse. I was up there just now. Down on that dodgy track. Seems to go down quite a way, and this is another track, I don't know.
the battery's still only got one notch taken out of it, so it's good, doing really well. Don't forget, at the moment I'm going downhill, but I did have quite a climb to start with. And this may be one of the ways they actually brought the guns up, because as far as I understand, the big, big, uh, the big guns were brought in by boat and then sort of uh, transported up to the top by the road from the, the harbour what they built at the bottom here. Temporary harbour or not, I don't know, but uh, this could be the route they, that they uh, brought them up on. And carry on going slow. I say, you know, I would never ever dream of walking any of this. If, for me, I'm not I'm not someone who likes hiking. Uh, I'm not a hiker, but uh, you know, being on the bike enables me to go and see parts of Spain that I wouldn't normally do. And that was my main reason for an e getting an e-bike. I've not bought it for the fitness or, you know, see how many miles I can do. Um, that's, that's, that, you know, that's irrelevant to me to a degree. I just want to see parts of Spain that I wouldn't have dreamed of going to because they're probably that dip too far for me to walk. Um, I know Sean wouldn't be able to walk down here. It's just too far. I'm getting closer to the sea. Still a long way up. I would definitely say that I found that road. Sun's around the other side of the mountain there. Which means it's a bit cooler over around this side, but it's still warm. I won't try to get this off here. This is the bit I can see from up there. Part of the road I could see. Right. Yeah, again, it's probably where they pedal whack me in the back of the leg. Oh, I think should be pedals. It looks like this is the end of the road. We're here. And that is the lighthouse. Oh, right, I'm just going to get the drone up a minute. A quick fly around it. All right, let's turn off a minute. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that little bit of drone footage of the lighthouse. Uh, I'm going to start making my way back up again now. So uh, I'm just going to turn the camera off for a little while till I get to the top. You've seen me come down, you don't see me going back up again. So uh, I'll see you when I get to the top. All right, just coming past where um, I went down to the lighthouse. Oops. Uh, still climbing up. I don't think I've got much further to go up now. Some of the climbing there was quite steep. 
Right, back up to the normal path. Well, the thing should start getting a little bit easier, he says. Quite steep here. I've got it on assist for and in first gear to make it easier for myself. You got the five now. Give me that bit of extra. This gate. So we're just leaving the guns now. Uh, I'm heading back to the car. Unless I find another random route. But um, I'm not sure. But just in case my battery decides to die on the way back, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed riding it and uh, I hope you've seen some parts of the the uh, guns of Cartagena that you've never seen before if you've been here leave a comment below if I've uh, shown you bits that you've never seen uh, hope I have and as I say if you did like this video please do like and subscribe as you then you'll see more of my videos cycling around the Mercia and beyond. Oh, that's still a way go for now and I'll catch you on the next one.